All right, this lesson is to accompany the session that we did earlier today uh, regarding limits and fits, uh, basic tolerance uh, calculations using uh, British Standard 4500 and the International Tolerance Rating. Okay, for this lesson, it's covering um, EEO Unit 039 and the learning outcomes of 3.1 and 3.9. Okay, so the calculations themselves. This is our example. Derive the dimension for a hole and a shaft of nominal diameter 40 millimeters so that an average clearance fit is obtained. You must state the nominal dimension, the upper limit, the lower limit, and the tolerance. Now to do this, you're going to use uh, two charts. The first one is the British Standard 4500. This is just an excerpt from it. It's not the whole thing. Um, okay, and this is suitable for our needs. The other one is the international tolerance table. Okay, this is what it this is what it looks like. So starting from the beginning, we're given that they want the average tolerance. We're also told that our uh, shaft and hole is 40 millimeters and we need the upper limit, the lower limit the nominal size and the tolerances. So the key here is the 40 millimeters. The other key thing is the average tolerance. So if we go to our table and what we're looking at here is for the, the normal sizes. We look down our list and we're looking for 40. Well, there's no 40 in this list and there's no 40 in this list. However, it says over millimeters and up to millimeters so these are ranges so we'll find that our 40 millimeters will sit in the range of 30 to 50. Now we're looking for the average clearance we have a loose clearance an average clearance and a close clearance now these are all part of the clearance fit family we then have what we talked about earlier the precision clear clearance the transition and the interference Okay, so if you remember the different sizes, we look at our average clearance, you've got H8 and F7. We have 39 and minus 25, 0 and 50. So our whole fit. And our shaft fit. So therefore we had plus 30 and 0, minus 25 and minus 50. Alright, there are our sizes. So for the whole diameter, We're looking for our upper limit, so that is 40 millimeters plus, sorry, that wasn't not uh, 30, it was 39, my mistake, all right, plus 0 0.039. I'll explain this in a moment, all right, that gives us. 40.039 millimeters. Our lower limit is 40 millimeters plus 0 0.00. .00. 
for our shaft diameter, we do the same thing. We have an upper limit and we have a lower limit. In this case, it's 40 millimeters minus 0 0.0, 0 0.25, which is equal to 39.975 millimeters. And then the lower limit is 40 millimeters minus 0 0.0, 0 0.50, which will give us 39.950 millimeters. Pretty straightforward. Now the change is, is where we have plus 39 minus 25. These are all micro, so basically they're under mu. So it's not 39 as in a whole number or 25 as a whole number. What they actually um, are is 0 0.039 because they're micros. Now we've worked out the upper limit and the lower limit. The thing that we've got to take into consideration now is that we do, because we're working on an average, we're working on average tolerances. We do not need, all right, or we don't, we don't need to have three decimal places. So we can round it up. So our whole diameter would, uh, the upper limit will become 40.04 and the lower is just 40. Okay, and that's all millimeters. For the shaft, the upper is 39.98 millimeters, lower 39.95 millimeters. Now we've got to work on the tolerances. So our whole tolerance is now 40.04 millimeters minus 40 millimeters, and that gives us 0 0.04 millimeters. Then we have a shaft tolerance. which is equal to 39.98 millimeters minus 39.95 millimeters, and that gives us 0 0.03 millimeters. So we have our maximum distance or maximum clearance, which is equal to the largest size hole minus the smallest sized shaft. In this case, that is 40.04 minus 39.98, which gives us 0 0.09 millimeters. Minimum is the smallest hole minus the largest shaft. Which is equal to 40 millimeters minus 39.8. 98 millimeters, which will give us 0 0.02 millimeters. Now, if we go back to um, our tolerances, okay, we're looking between 30 and 50, and then our tolerances were between 25 and 39. 
So it is IT7 or IT8. And if we go across here, IT7, high quality turning, broaching and honing. IT8, center lathe, capstan and automatic um, lathe. Those are more than suitable for our uh, needs. So therefore it is IT7 or IT8 for manufacturing the shaft, which is the answer for question two. All right, so it's as simple as that. If you get any problems, feel free to email me during the week. Um, the formative ass assessment needs to be completed for Monday uh, for eight o'clock, please. All right, see you next week.